a few people watching uh, that welcome to my first vlog of my channel uh, BVI's little secrets one of those little secrets is the Long Bay uh, resort area in the west end of Tortola uh, we overlook Yost Van Dyke uh, it was uh, severely hit after Irma like most things were um, but I'm here to give you an update a lot of people are wondering uh, what does it look like is there construction going on and I'm here to give you some updates on it I do um, want to be very cautious about how much um, um, this channel talks about Irma. It is a big part of our um, of our life, uh, even still to this day. But uh, I don't want to dwell on it. I don't want to bring up too much, but you can't exactly ignore it, especially um, when I'm giving you a tour of Long Bay, what it looks like. So here is what Long Bay looks like now. All the villas are put back together. The hillside is nice and green and lush. Uh, sadly, uh, the pool is still in a bit of disrepair. That, um, from what we have heard, will be the second phase of building. It was supposed to be the first phase, but COVID has put a wrench into that plan. Um, so we will hopefully have a beautiful um, pool again, maybe in the next six months to a year. I think it's going to be smaller. Um, I don't know if they're going to redo the entire thing. But you can see the tennis courts off in the distance. You can see Joost van Dijk. Um, we believe this area is going to be some green space or possibly um, a restaurant um, or a little bistro type area with table set up. This is the reception area uh, where the spa and the fitness area is and that is going to be all rebuilt as well. Uh, so I'll just give you a, a quick little tour of what's behind me on this villa. Um, let's see. So we have we have the porch. Uh, this is the staircase. It's not attached. Uh, so hopefully my stuff on here will be okay. So look at that view. This would be a nice place to be on vacation on a honeymoon just away from real life for a couple of days. The view is stunning. So there's a the door frame is closed. Um, but there's obviously no glass. No glass. You still kind of see some remnants. You can see the sand that is that washed in. Um, window frames. Blew out. Look at that view. That's the neighbor's porch. Yeah, the neighbor's porch. Um, that would have blown out. This is what the furniture did look like. Amazingly enough, the fan with all of its blades is still in place. That's pretty, pretty remarkable considering the window is down here. Uh, they still have the air conditioning unit, obviously it doesn't work. Um, I like this sculpture that is uh, from the wind blinds, or the, the blinds that got mangled by the wind. So we, have, we were living in Havers, which is down uh, near Nanny Key area, and we, had, we put all of the, we were renting, so we put all of the owner's pictures and everything into one of the bedrooms. We thought it would be safer than having it uh, in the hallway. There wasn't a, a real door. There was just a, like a, an iron gate for the front door. So we thought it'd be safer with the wind coming in. And of course, that window, the room that we put all the stuff in, uh, the screen door and the glass door were old. So that blew out, and all of their artwork got wet. Nothing got too too damaged. Some things blew away. All of our laundry that we had in there blew away. Not a big deal though. But we had um, the owners had. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like now. I had a mobile of fish, little painted Caribbean fish, 
and that got mangled and we kept that. So one thing I asked uh, the caregiver when we left the, uh, the, the rental, I said, can I keep this? It's just a piece of time from that, that it, it makes me smile, doesn't it make me sad, doesn't make me remember back to, to bad memories, it just is like such a interpretation of the madness that happened. Um, let me flip you back around. Look at that view. So I'm gonna shut this off and go down the stairs and we'll flip it to the wall. Wish me luck. The Long Bay Resort, I believe, was started in uh, the late 80s. And they have poolside uh, of hotel rooms, then they have houses up on the hill that are villas, and they're full, you know, two bedroom. And some of them have an apartment underneath, so it's a two bedroom and then a studio apartment with um, beautiful um, porches that overlook uh, the beach and then overlook out to um, Yost Van Dyke. So it's very beautiful. Um, you get the sunlight at the end of the day, so it does get a little hot, but the sunsets are really pretty. Um, the, before the Sahara dust blew in, oh god, the sunsets were amazing. Then the dust came in and then you couldn't see for a couple of days, which is why I haven't been able to make any videos because no one would be able to see me, nor would I be able to stay outside too long because your eyes just went, you just want to itch your eyes out. So Long Bay is about a 45 minute drive from the airport. You can also um, come into uh, Soper's Hole and clear customs there if you're taking the ferry from St. Thomas if you fly in from there. And that's only like a, I don't know, 10, 15 minute uh, taxi ride. At Soper's, there was a grocery store so you could provision there. You can uh, take a boat out. A few different uh, charter companies are down that way. Um, but if you come here for a villa stay, you can get your groceries, you can rent a car, and then you come down to your villa. And with the beach being so close, you don't have to actually get in your car every day to go somewhere. There's restaurants and walking distance. Um, there'll be more once the resort opens back up. So at the end of the speech is Nature Boy. And he, when he's around, he has drinks and cold ice set up and you can buy a drink from him and support him. He lives on the beach in a self-made, um, it's not like a hut, um, but he lives down there. Uh, then if you go about, uh, it's actually a mile from Long Bay because I've ran it before, you can go down to Smugglers. The Smugglers is absolutely beautiful. And there's a few different bars that have popped up there. Highly recommend Nigel's. He's, uh, he makes a really mean punch. Um, I don't know what juices he puts in them, but it's absolutely amazing. He has chairs and umbrellas. One of the things that Irma did take away from us is shade. So if your villa does not come with beach chairs and umbrella, I highly recommend um, going to Nigel's. And I think it's $20 for the day, or maybe he gives you a deal if you get food and, and drinks. Um, Kane Garden also has a ton of beach chairs. Uh, so from here, you in the wintertime, you can go surfing. Apple and Carrot Bay are just over about five, five minute drive. There's plenty of parking. Um, I have heard from people that do surf that if you are new or a beginner, that it's best to go down to Josiah's and get a lesson in surfing. You can rent boards. Uh, Apple and Carrot is a little bit more, uh, you know, experienced surfers. There's also a break at King Garden down at the end of the beach. Um, I don't surf. I want to try, uh, but there's no waves right now. So down here, you can choose what you want to do. You want to sit on the beach and do nothing for a week? You can do that. You want to go do a day sail? You can do that. You can go diving. You can learn to surf. You can do just about anything. Um, at the other end, at Trellis Bay, uh, a friend of ours is opening up a pottery studio. So you can go and watch her do her pottery work. She's also going to be doing lessons and doing, um, like she'll create the mugs and then you'll be able to paint it and then she'll fire it for you and it'll be ready to take home. So you get to make something that you get to bring home from vacation. So it's really cool. So there's a lot to do um, down at Long Bay. It's not just, um, you know, destroyed from Irma. It's getting rebuilt. It's going to be better than ever. And this area in general is just absolutely amazingly beautiful and stunning. And um, I know for me, when I drive home from work, it is it is a quite a bit of a drive every day but you turn onto that coast road and it's just you remember why you live here 
and then a few minutes into the coast road as you can start to see St. John you could kind of you unwind you can breathe a little easier and it feels like you're on vacation so on the weekends it's very hard to get me out of the house <laughs> um, I like to uh, park the car and not not get back in the car until Monday morning because you could just come to the beach every day you can take a walk you can go down to smugglers you can go for a run up on the ridge it's just it's absolutely beautiful so I'm a big fan now of West End I'd always lived east and then I lived in town for a little bit which is stunning the lights at night when you live in town oh as a former New Yorker I, I love lights um, but West End is at its home now I love it and I hope anyone that comes down here also checks out the West End rent a car if you're staying somewhere else bring a picnic lunch buy some lunch somewhere else spend the day down here and enjoying it and don't forget to go on the swing <laughs>